Hello, Capricorn. This is your daily for the 23rd through the 24th. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see. We've got trustworthy friends. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Beautiful. Libra got this same card. What other messages do we have for my Capricorns today? Capricorn. Capricorn. Four of Pentacles. That's you. Hmm. The Lovers. Gemini Energy. The Two of Pentacles. You again. I think a lot of you are just holding back. Um, there's some things that happened in the past that, you know, just don't sit well with you. And it's like, you know, I'm not giving anything else to that. Um, I wish I had not given what I have already to that. Um, maybe feeling like it was a waste of time. This is surrounding um, a lover that you had. Uh, and I think, you know, where you're at right now is you're not really knowing whether or not to open yourself up to a situation like this again. Because I think there is a present situation that's got you guys a little unsure. Um, you're not really comfortable right now with truly opening up completely. Okay. Let's see why this is happening. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a relationship here that I think you guys, you know, you broke up with someone, but there's also a, something else here presently that you are considering that you are involved in, but you're not sure, like it's got you a little, you're not sure about it. You're not sure if it's safe, I feel, after what you've gone through. Yeah. Part of you wants to be on your own and be like independent, just live your best life um, because you don't want the headache of being involved with someone else and them possibly bringing you conflict here. You just, I, I don't think you are wanting to deal with it at this point. Okay, let's see what the influence is here. Somebody was very closed off, maybe the emperor. Somebody's, somebody is trying not to speak to you. And I feel like they haven't spoke to you in a while. They want to, but they haven't. They're thinking about it, though. Very stubborn individual, probably was very um, closed off, did not offer a lot of emotion, wanted things their way. Um, and, you know, in the past, it probably happened that way for you to keep the peace. Very stubborn individual here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what this page of swords is about right here. Yeah, look. They're watching you. Wanting to speak with you. Now we have the Empress. The Empress counterpart. They're watching you. Or you're watching them. But we have a we have a partnership here between the Emperor and the Empress. Hmm. Let's see what the advice is here. <laughs> Don't think about things in the past. Don't think about any of this, any of this nonsense. Okay. Get it out your head. If, if you're thinking the worst, hang on. So if you're thinking that this new relationship is going to bring anything like what happened before in the past, or if it's going to be like a repeat, then nine times out of 10, it's not going to happen because with the Nine of Swords, whatever it is that you guys are thinking the worst about, nine times out of ten, it's nowhere near that, okay? So stop worrying so much. Give this a chance, especially if you feel like it's going to make you happy. Um, just see where it goes, okay? If you're already involved with somebody, I'm not telling you to get involved with anybody, but if this is a situation where you're feeling a little unsure about it um, because you have dealt with an asshole in the past, then um, it's probably not going to be that way. And I think as a queen of wands, you'll cut that ish out anyway, um, whether you have a wand or a sword. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll speak with you guys soon. Bye now.